Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I'm here in the Conservancy lands, one of the many Conservancy lands, Nature Conservancy. And I see this, uh, kind of a spill, it goes, not too big of a spill, goes down through a parking lot area. And uh, it's just very peculiar because it looks like to me, like it has oil in it. Now there is naturally occurring tar seeps here in is here in the mountains, the Santa Monica Mountains. But I've just never seen anything exactly like this. And I can't quite figure it out. Well, I must admit my curiosity is aroused. So I'm standing in the parking lot here in the Conservancy lands and I just have to admit I have a funny feeling about this place. And I can't quite figure it out. Uh, there's a hiking trail that goes up along here. See up the mountain? I'm not sure to where. And then over here, there are these abrupt cliffs. Uh, like they're crumbling abruptly. In a riparian area, which is very beautiful. And then this strange jumble of land, like there's a fault line or uh, inst unstable earth here. Obviously tumbling down, right? I, usually there's a fault line when that happens. Just I have a feeling through here that there's something that needs adjustment. There's something about the natural order here that could benefit from a clearing or a cleansing. And I'm thinking what I'll do is go up to Mount Shasta and get some bottles of snow, pure white um, diamond light snow from up there, which is well cared for by one of the Ascension workers that's on the Ascension list on my blog site. And um, I'm going to go up there, you know, I think it's okay, just get some jars of snow, or snow melt, and bring them back down here and, and, and just have a little ceremony in places like this where I see that there's something that needs fixing. But the land is not settled or sad or somehow uh, denser than the rest of the land, as in the case of that uh, Rocketdyne um, nuclear uh, spill, the nuclear leak that happened in the 60s, was it? Around those areas where the runoff is from that, and and bring some of that water down and pour it that into the, into those places where those waters are that that need to fractalize differently. Because I think what will happen is that um, immediately the waters will, that are there will, will take on that, that brilliant white light from, from Shasta. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a project of it. Um, and uh, in the coming months. And uh, see what can be done for the waters of Los Angeles. Greater Los Angeles area. So... Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar with ceremony and, and water um, blessings, uh, there's the work of uh, Dr. Masaru Emoto, who did, um, who did studies on the nature of water in various places and found that they had different structures uh, under the microscope. Um, so it is possible for water to take on different frequencies very easily in fact uh, when it's exposed to different kinds of environments and different kinds of uh, emotional moods for instance in human beings it's our ability we have the ability to transform the waters of earth so and water from a beautiful sacred place such as Mount Shasta is one good example of a place on earth that's so high that it can bring renewed life to all of the areas that are desolate and uh, through the destruction, the, the unthinking destruction of the, uh, of the ecosystem for the sake of, dare I say it, short-sighted greed. <laughs> so y'all take care until next time and let's, let us think together what we can do to to lengthen the observation point of, of most people from the, from the needs of the present to the future of humankind and of Earth. Uh, things like this, small things, things that really don't cost much of anything. 
Now we can do that just by our intention. We don't have to go to Shasta. We can just do it. We could sit here in this place and bless this land and it would do it. Until next time.